question. In a prior Q&A that was just posted as a video, you understandably advise people not to blindly follow or mimic any trading guru, yourself included. Given that, how do you recommend people utilize your daily webinar to be profitable traders? I'm hoping that I'm trying to provide a way to look at the markets. I scalp most of the time because I just see stuff on every bar, so I'm just taking little scalps all day long. But you know, I also talk about the picture, and if you're able to trade small enough, especially if you're able to scale in, and I say you know, bar five, bar six is always in long. If you want to do anything, buy the five close, or you buy the six close, or you buy the eight low. And that always in comment that I make throughout the day, those are all reasonable times to enter the market and then use the appropriate stop. Usually when I say always in, say, okay, it's always in long five, always in long six, stop down here. Always in short, maybe, maybe, stop up here. All right, so I'll talk about where the stops are. And beyond that, just learn. I see these dumb gurus talk about noise, and I just don't understand it. To me, when a person talks about noise, they just don't understand what's going on with the market. They don't understand what the market's doing, what it's trying to do. They don't understand the forces that are at play. Nothing is noise. Everything happens for a reason. Every time the market turns at a certain price, there's a reason. It's not some random noise event. There, there was enough money making it happen, enough computers seeing what's going on to make it happen. Now, I also talk a lot about scalps. A lot of them I take, a lot of them I don't take. If you get really good as a trader, what you'll find yourself doing is taking more and more smaller, smaller and smaller trades. Not necessarily, but a lot of traders do that. The better they get, the more stuff they see. And you know, you say, well, should I buy that? You know, should I buy the 17 close? Should I buy the uh, six close? Right? And if you've been trading a long time, the way I look at it is, it's like some little guy handing with his arm outstretched, holding a little bag filled with gold, a few gold coins. And I keep telling him yes all day long and get all those gold coins and put them in my pocket, and all of a sudden I get a lot of gold. Or I can say, no, that's, that's too small for me to bother with. For me, I see the stuff. I see the little man with a little bag of gold, and I just keep taking gold from him all day long. So as time goes on, you'll begin to anticipate certain high probability bets, like as soon as six closes, you just hit buy the close, and you try to get a couple points out of it. And beyond that, I talk about major trend reversals. And coming into today, I said today we'd probably have a major trend reversal and an attempt at a second leg up after yesterday. So you could be looking to buy reversals up from sell-offs. Above four, probably not, but the five close or six close, yes. And then here, above 23, maybe, above 29, maybe, and then near the high when we're failing at the moving average, and I'm saying all day long it's probably going to get down to the open of the day. Sometimes what I'll do is, on a day like this where the range is going to be about 10 points or something, and we're four or five points away from the open, in one of my accounts I'll just place an order risking four points to make four points approximately. So from four points above the open, I'll just sell and put a stop four points above, betting that it's more likely that we're going to get to the open than it is to my stop. 